City officials in Hartford say heads will roll after an election day foul up caused delays and a court fight on election day. There is a lot of finger pointing going on tonight, looking to direct the blame for that embarrassing Hartford voting debacle. Yeah, we've been digging deeper tonight into why those voter registration lists were not at the polling locations by 8 p.m. the night before the election that's required by law, not to mention why some of those polling places opened up late. So who's to blame? News 8's Bob Wilson spoke exclusively with those registrars of voters under fire tonight, and he found out it all depends who you ask as to who's to blame. Bob? You know, there was a lot of finger pointing going on, but uh, today the mayor and the president of the city council stepped forward and said, we're going to investigate, we're going to get to the bottom of it and figure out exactly what happened. You had two polling places and quite a few precincts inside those polling places opening up late. How, how many total precincts? I believe I want to say a total of 13 precincts. That's the number of precincts that opened up late on election day, according to Olga Vasquez. She's one of three registrar of voters in Hartford. The voter registration list showed up late at two polling places Tuesday morning, causing a judge to keep the polls open a half an hour later. She says there are a lot of reasons for the mistakes. You, you continue to cut our budget. We're down to two or three staffs. The budget was reduced uh, over the prior fiscal year's budget by point. 2%, so less than $1,000. Tonight, the mayor and city council president angry at the excuses instead of answers, so they're launching their own investigation. In the days and weeks leading up to the election, at no time, either by email or verbally or in any shape or form, uh, where we advised that additional resources were needed. Did you call the mayor or anybody and say, hey, we need help? Yes, yes I have reached out to the mayor's office. Hey, show me the email. City leaders say they have heard four different excuses as to why the polls opened late. There was a dead man on the ballot. Now, today here at City Hall, the mayor and the president of city council made it clear. Whatever this investigation uncovers, there will be consequences. As a matter of fact, they said they're looking at everything, including reviewing the charter and impeachment. There is a charter provision for impeachment, and that is obviously available to council. We caught up with the working party registrar who says she was not involved with the precincts during the election. I'm sorry for what happened. I know that democracy is not something that should be tampered with, played with. So again, my apologies to the residents of Hartford. And we were unable to speak with the third registrar of ours, the Republican. We were there knocking on the door. A person came out and said she's not interested in going on. I'm Bob Wilson reporting live in Hartford, News 8.